Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 12th Python tutorial. We're just going to dive right in here. Today we're going to be talking about the path object. So first thing we need to do is import OS, or if you want to actually do it the correct way, you do from OS import path. Now what's the difference between those two? If you just do import OS, you can then do OS dot whatever, which in this case would be OS dot path and then whatever command you want. But if you specifically import path from OS, you can then say path, that was embarrassing, path dot whatever. So that's really the difference between those two. So we're just going to say from OS import path. And we're going to actually get a path object here. So we're going to say print And percent has, whoops, having troubles with my keyboard here. We're going to get the current directory here. Now, if we run this, it's just going to print a little dot. Yep, the current directory is dot. And if you're not familiar with the dot notation, um, basically dot is always your current directory and dot dot is the parent directory. Um, but we want to actually expand that and figure out what that really is. So let's try this. Print. And we're going to say abs path or absolute path is percent s. And let's just go. So we're just going to say path, absolute path, and then we're just going to give it the current directory that we're in and just see what it prints out here. And we're currently in my home directory. I'm on Linux, so you see these slashes. If you're on Windows, you'll see like C program files or C users or wherever you're at. And that's kind of the beauty of Python is it's uh, very much cross-platform. Now we're just going to get the name. So we're going to say dir name. Run that, and you see the dir name is blank. Hmm, that's not good. So let's get the base name from this. And the base name is of course dot because that's our current directory. Um, so I just I don't want you to get thrown off if you see you know curder is re returning a dot. Now if we actually take this and make a variable and say hey let's actually make a string literal here and to do that you put an R in front of it the reason why you would make a string literal is if you're like on Windows and you do this like C program files you know yada 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 whatever blah 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 each one of those slashes if it's not a string literal will be interpreted as what's called an escape character like slash p, I don't remember what that is, but if it was like slash t, that'd be a tab. Um, slash r would be, you know, hard return new line. The only way around that would be to double escape them, where you do slash slash, which, you know, gets kind of frustrating. Or you would just, you know, make it a string literal by putting the r in front of it. I'm on a Linux machine, so don't really have to worry about it much but I'll do it anyways and we're just going to replace curder with this just so we can see the difference of what it's gonna do you see now we have a base name a dir name and an absolute path so that's really the difference between current directory and you know when you hard code a path um, Sometimes curder is not your friend, and I just wanted you to be aware of that. We're going to really quickly finish up this tutorial. We're going to do exist, isdir, and isfile. So let's do uh, So I don't know if there's any gamers out there, but uh, I bought Skyrim Legendary Edition for like 15 bucks on Steam, so I've been playing that. It's a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty in-depth. 
and let's say is file. And what these commands are going to do here, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go over them real quick. You got your absolute path. Let's actually run this. Okay, you got your your absolute path, which as you can see is that. Your dir name, which is just your directory name, the directory or the parent directory, I should say. The base name is the name of the current file or directory that you're in. Yes, it exists. That's very handy when you get into file operations. You want to make sure that file exists or doesn't exist. And then determine if it's a directory or a file. Whew. Well, that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Um, pretty easy one, but very important information that you should definitely understand. Um, for the source code for this and other tutorials, visit my website, voidrealms.com, and we've got much more coming in the future.